Hi, I'm Shane from PDQ.com. I'm gonna show you how uh, you can use PDQ Deploy uh, to uh, install Windows updates. Windows updates, uh, Microsoft made some changes in October of 16 where they started to introduce for um, Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, kind of a, a little closer to the methodology they use for updating Windows 10, and that is they have some cumulative updates. And uh, they also have a security only monthly update. We'll talk about that. If you want to grab those, these Windows updates, you can go out to uh, the package library. Um, under categories, if you want to, if you go this way, you can go to uh, the Windows updates and you'll see them listed right here. The Win 10, and we base uh, you know, the, pat the patches for Windows 10 off of the release, uh, also known as the version. So there's version 1607 is at this, at this time, uh, the most recent or current version. Then there's 1511 and the initial release. Uh, so there's going to be different patches for those. The Windows 10 are cumulative. They come out generally once a month. Sometimes the most recent build, 1607 in this case, will come out more than once a month and will, and will um, you know, modify the version. The version is kind of goes off of the date. So this is January of 17, but you notice Windows 10 1607 has January 26th of 2017 uh, because it, it came out um, more than once in January. Uh, and then there's the Windows 7 and Windows 8 one monthly roll-up, that's a cumulative roll-up. And if you use uh, the monthly roll-ups for those operating systems, you don't need the security only. The security only is not cumulative and that's just the security releases for that particular month, all right? So uh, go ahead, import those. When you import them, we'll see, let's do the uh, Windows 10 cumulative. It's as simple as deploying. We'll just fill this out to a couple of computers. Uh, just to, just for a quick demonstration, and you hit deploy. Um, sometimes these patches can take a little while to update. So we've actually modified the uh, default timeout from one hour to four hours. It doesn't mean it will take that long, but just in the event that it does. Also, the, uh, let's see what we got here, the condition, or the collection library. If you use PDQ inventory, in the collection library, if you have the enterprise licensing mode, you'll see a, a section called Windows Updates. We break it down at this point just by workstations. There's your Windows 10. Notice there's the 1607 cumulative, and we just go off of the most recent. So if you have the cumulative update, make this a little wider, the latest, this means that you have this KB number. You can see that right there. This is the January 26th one. And then uh, Windows 7, you have the monthly roll up. This is for uh, the 2017, January 2017 monthly roll-up. And then there's the security only if you want that. Once again, generally recommend you do the monthly roll-up. That does include all of the security patches plus the other bug fixes and stuff. And the good thing about that is it's cumulative, whereas the security only is not. So use, your, use the collection library to track those. Use PDQ Deploy to import and deploy those, those updates. Um, I'll obviously take advantage of auto deployment if you want um, so that you know you can configure it so that your machines get the latest updates as they come out. All right, I'm Shane, pdq.com. Thanks. We'll talk to you later.